Good morning, my friends. Hope you're having a good start to your Monday, whether you're doing this in the morning or you're doing this later on in the day, or if it's not Monday for you, you're doing this later, whatever it is, I hope that you're having a good day. So we're almost halfway through, and by now you should be in the process of rethinking your strategies or the way that you work, the way that you um, are, uh, your habits, some of your habits, your movement strategies, right? So today, yesterday we talked about the energy, uh, the physical energy. So let's talk about the mind today. So let me start by sharing the screen. I'm gonna turn off my camera first. All right, here we go. Good, and present mode. Awesome, so welcome to day three, enhancing your mental energy. So let's dive right into it. So the purpose and the benefits, we will explore the strategies for enhancing your mental energy and improving focus and clarity. So again, this challenge is all about helping you rethink your current life. So set your intention to for the day, embrace the opportunity to recharge your mental batteries and unlock your full cognitive potential. All right, so I know that we keep coming back to this, but I really need to stress this, friends, how important it is with quality of sleep. Quality sleep and mental energy, this is the crucial role of how it can enhance your mental energy. There's a difference between the mental energy and the physical energy, even though they are sometimes combined. But when we feel mentally tired, we usually get very sluggish. It takes time, it takes longer time for us to process things. It also impairs our verbal uh, capacity. So let's go back to the sleep hygiene practice. We talked about this yesterday. Learn some effective strategies for improving sleep quality and maximizing the mental restoration. So I'm going to tell you, creating a restful environment for sleep, that is one of the keys. You can explore some of the tips right by creating a sleep friendly environment that supports deep and rejuvenating rest and i'm going to give you one now make sure it's cool in the room when it's cool in the room if you have a capacity if you have a possibility to to fix uh, the temperature in your room then that will help immensely number two make sure that the light is not too bright especially when we're doing that blue light or if you're having those regular white uh, light bulbs those will keep you in an awakened state so you need to bring yourself into a restful state and it's kind of hard doing that from being awake by the light and then all of a sudden you're gonna go to sleep right so check your lights yes maybe light a candle if it's not too hot you know is that something that you can do did you turn off your phone i personally i turn off uh, my phone i put it in flight mode uh, or i turn it completely off another thing that i do is i turn off wi-fi completely in the house uh, could that because that also believe it or not it uh yeah it, it it does there's something with the wi-fi waves <laughs> believe it or not and i'm not gonna go too deep into it but just turning things off at home to have less of a like an electromagnetic pole that will help your sleep so so much so try these three things right cool in the room fresh sheets if you i mean i mean 
the, yes, the ultimate would be to change the sheets every single night, right? But that's a lot of work, but at least one week in between to change the sheets, maybe even more during the summer if you don't have a cool room. And then the second one was uh, turning off your phone, right? And Wi-Fi, yeah. And the light, sorry, the light. Here, it's time for you to take action. So I want you now to identify mental energy blockers. All right, what are your mental energy blockers? Take a moment here to reflect on potential factors that hinder your mental energy and focus. What are the main obstacle or distractions that drain your mental resources? Write them down and consider some strategies already to overcome or minimize these blockers throughout the challenge. I know that we're still quite early in today's topic, but is it already something that you can do from the sleep, for example, or is it something that you already know that you need to do uh, in order to optimize uh, your mental energy. So I'm gonna give you two minutes for this, two minutes to reflect on the potential factors what hinder your mental energy and focus. So grab your notebook or the workbook a pen and let's get cracking, two minutes. I think that was enough time for you to reflect on your mental energy blockers. Let's move on. So, all right, some of the mental energy blockers, they actually have a stress management technique that we can use. For example, stress and mental energy is usually combined and understanding the impact of stress and mental energy on mental energy levels and overall well-being can be very helpful. Stress reduction techniques, learning practical techniques such as deep breathing, meditation or journaling to manage stress and boost mental energy. Incorporating stress relief. Explore ways to incorporate stress management techniques into your daily routine for sustained mental vitality. And now you're thinking, okay, so what can I do? This is where you need to see this challenge as exactly what it is. It does challenge you to rethink, yeah? So the topic today is mental energy. So I'm challenging you to rethink your energy. In what areas of your life can you use stress management to help you overcome those mental energy blocks? Like, would you be willing to open yourself up to deep breathing, to meditation, to journaling, to any other type of practice that helps you with exactly mindfulness of things? 
So here we come to the mindfulness practices, the power of mindfulness. And I don't want you to feel here, okay, we're gonna go into a lot of ho hogus bogus here right now. No, actually the power of the mind, remember what I said the other days, we are energy and we are moving energy constantly in our bodies physically. So why cannot not our mind also move that energy? And mindfulness is actually part of you. Discover how mindfulness practices can sharpen your focus and enhance your mental clarity. So an exercise that you can learn is, it's simple yet effective, it's mindful breathing. Like you're doing this every single day. You use breath to live. It's breath of life, right? So if you anchor your attention to your breath for a few mu minutes every single day, you can increase that mental energy. Like for example, right now I am playing um, uh, mind, I'll call it mindfulness music, but this is really uh, frequency music that helps our brain be put in a state. So right now I'm using the, the frequency of 528 Hertz, which is um, enhancing your positive energy. It has that effect on the mind. So if music can have that effect on us, how about the breath, right? Can we move our mental energy with breath? Yes, of course we can. So you don't need a mindfulness or meditation teacher for this. Whenever you're feeling stressed, whenever you're feeling overloaded, whenever you're going into overthinking mode, just sit down for a couple of minutes and breathe. Yeah, that's all you need to do. You put that attention to your breath. If it helps, put one hand on your chest, the other hand under your chest, just to anchor yourself even more and breathe and explore different ways of mindfulness into your daily activities to cultivate a state of present moment. When you breathe, you become more present in the moment. You become more present and aware, and this increases that optimal mental energy. Now ask yourself, when was the last time you actually just took a minute to focus on your breath? So let's cultivate a positive mindset. And we're not gonna do this by uh, erasing what is uh, draining you, because in the end, you need to identify what it is in your life that is draining your motivation and your energy. But a way for you to work on yourself is cultivating a positive mindset. So understand the connection between a positive mindset and heightened mental energy. Like I mentioned, affirmations and self-talk. It's not about telling you about you know, your physical appearance. Can you go deeper? Today, I am fully focused on the tasks at hand and I will thrive in whatever I choose to do. Self-talk, how do you talk about yourself? Oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm ugly, oh, I'm getting old, you know, oh, these love handles. But do you recognize this? How do you actually talk about yourself? So learn how affirmations and positive self-talk can shift your mindset and boost your mental energy. And now here's my favorite part, embrace gratitude. When you explore the power of gratitude in cultivating a positive mindset, it will enhance your overall well-being. When you are grateful for the small things in life, even if you have really heavy stuff going on, gratitude practices will put you again in that state of being in the now and actually being grateful for what you have in the now. So let's go back to our journal or your workbook or notebook, whatever you had. And I want you to reflect on today's content and I want you to answer the question in your journal. How can I enhance my mental energy and focus through sleep, stress management, 
and mindfulness practice. So basically, where in what of these areas can you do more? Like if you already know that, oh, I suck when it comes to sleeping, is there anything from the sleeping that you can do to enhance that mental energy? Stress management, right? Mindfulness practices, which one of this do you resonate with? Take one moment for this. Moving on, friends. Let's talk about digital detox. Now, I know that this is the culprit in so many people's lives. That phone, that amazing smartphone, that's so freakishly smart, it's an amazing tool, right? To keep you connected. But let's be honest, how much does this thing take over your life? So the impact of digital overload, understand how excessive screen time and digital overload can drain your mental energy. You keep these notifications popping up, boom, 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 one after another. What do you think they will do? They take your focus, they take your energy, and then you're on there getting drained. And we're so overloaded with information nowadays. So how do we go about with the digital uh, detox strategy. Try to learn some practical ways to take breaks from technology and create boundaries to reju rejuvenate your mind. It's all about creating that tech-free zones. Like for example, no phones in the bedroom. Explore the idea of designating specific areas or times as technology-free zones to promote mental energy restoration. So. Can you put a time management lock on your phone? I know Arkady has one where he uh, locks away his social media throughout the day uh, when it's work, work related. So I think it's like from 9 a.m. until like 6 p.m. Uh, he has like a lock that doesn't allow him to go into uh, social media which is a good thing, right? Because it keeps him more productive and it keeps his focus. So I know that some of you do this for your kids and maybe you should ask yourself if you can do it for yourself. Let's talk about brain boosting activities. How can you engage your mind a little bit more? When we boost our our mind remember the mind loves to be challenged right it disengages our cognitive abilities and keeps our mind young, our brain young brain games and puzzles explore brain games puzzles or mental exercises that can sharpen your mental acuity and boost energy i remember there was like one period in my life where i loved every single summer i was sitting on my balcony doing crossword puzzles and then I kind of saw the pattern. It was a way for me to detox from the year because I was a teacher. So it was a way for me to just let go of the school year of all of my students and just to clear my mind by doing brain 
games, like like um, uh, puzzles and crossword puzzles. So that was a good way back then for me. Now I would say that no, I am not into that. Uh, I rather, you know, do a, a, a game, a brain game on my phone, to be perfectly honest. Um, but there are other ways of doing it as well. So consider incorporating a new skill or hobby that stimulates your mind and ignites your curiosity. So how can you, is there a skill, like for example, uh, knitting maybe, I don't know. There's a, a new thing going on now where people, you know, uh, go back to old practices like creating stuff from scratch. Now I, for me personally, I love to make my own skin products. So this is one of my, you know, guilty pleasures. I love doing everything from scratch. And maybe you love sewing, knitting, and crochet, whatever it is, you know. Incorporate a skill that will boost your mind. Whenever we keep our fingers uh, busy doing things with our fingers, we actually enhance our cognitive function. Whenever we are boosting our brain with puzzles or mental work that stimulates it, this is also a trick for longevity. Physical activity, we talked about this a lot yesterday, but let's just recap. So exercise and mental clarity is very much combined. Like I mentioned to you yesterday, if I don't move in the morning, or during the day, I go kind of cuckoo. I need to move. And it's not about me doing a crazy workout. It's about me releasing some of that built up energy in my body. So understand the relationship between physical activity and enhanced mental energy. Remember those movement breaks. Learn the benefits of incorporating short movement breaks throughout the day to boost your mental energy. Active living. Explore ways to infuse physical activity into your daily routine for increased mental vitality. And I think that you're starting to see the pattern here now in this challenge. Because we talk about sleep a lot. We talk about physical activity a lot. And we talk about the connection between that energy, that physical energy and that mental energy. So I think that you're starting to connect the dots on this, how all of this actually is the key to you boosting your energy and motivation. A calm mind gives you the mental energy to take charge of your body and vice versa. So here is your progression assignment now, my friends. Remember, progression assignment is basically homework, right? But we don't like that word. We love progression. It keeps us moving forward. So the action step. I want you to commit to practicing one technique that enhances your mental energy. For example, mindful breathing or stress management. And I want you to write it down in your journal. So write down uh, what is your chosen technique today and how you plan to integrate it into your day. And to help you, I will put one of my grounding practices that is focusing on breath in the first comment under the video. So you have something tangible so you have a little bit of, of help there if you feel that it's too overwhelming to, you know, sit down by yourself and just get it done, then you have, you have me there. <laughs> so you can choose to do that if you want. So yeah, friends, that's it for today. Thank you so much. I hope that your technique will give you some extra mental clarity today and i will see you all tomorrow remember the practice will be put in the comments under the video and remember to share share your progress so uh, whenever you finish watching the video just write done or put a like so we can see your pattern because 
To be perfectly honest, majority of the world population, when they start something, more than 50% never finish it. If, if you recognize this pattern, it's not to bring you down, it's just the way we humans are. And if you can bring yourself to actually finishing this challenge, wow, imagine the benefits you will reap. So, my friends, thank you so much for today, and I will see you all tomorrow.